You're not ready? I am now. Okay. So drill a hole in each end of the egg and blow the yolk and the, the rest of the egg out. And then using natural dyes, you dye the eggshell. Uh, she used walnut shells for a brown color. Of course, the reddish color is onion skins. Uh, if you'd used marigold flowers, it would turn green. Hmm. And red beets make a blue color. Then you, with a sharp object of some kind, like an exacto knife, originally probably a porcupine quill, they would scratch through the dye and put the drawing on, on the egg. <clears throat> and you hope that you don't poke through the shell or drop it. Mmm, yes. And that's devastating. Because you can spend hours and hours and hours on it. Try not to get the camera too. She had people all over saving her pheasant eggs, goose eggs duck eggs. So she had all different sized eggs that she worked with. And now how old would you say these eggs are? Oh, some of those could be 15 years old, some could be 30. I, I'm not sure because these were all in her collection. I was going to say, I see some of them are dated 84, 86. Uh-huh. Now, uh, this pretty kind of soft yellow one here, would that be butternut? I, I'm not a dye expert, so I really don't know. If I have played around a little bit with it, and that's why I know beets have turned blue and marigolds uh, are green. The walnut shell is nice because it gives you that nice dark brown. And it's a rich brown, too. You know, some of the gray eggs oh, that were originally blue, I think they faded over the years. Yeah, that happens, but it's, it's a shame, but that's how it is. Oh, 